Hi, and welcome to The Law Simplified. I'm Shaveen Bandar Nayaka. Examinations are quite binary. What I mean by that is the outcome is either that you get through, you pass, or you fail. Now, granted that by suggesting that you pass, I don't simply mean that you're getting over the hurdle. Um, this is somewhat nuanced and depending on how well you pass, whether you achieve a first, uh, second upper, second lower and so on, will also determine the direction that you take academically and then later professionally and life in general. But much like examinations are binary in the context of how you get through or you don't, so too are the reasons for why most students don't get through an examination. Now, there are a multitude of reasons that will affect the final outcome or the final result. But overall, you could couple this into, on the one hand, because the student had no specific substantive knowledge of the law that he or she didn't understand properly. Or on the other hand, because the student hasn't presented or articulated the responses properly. Now, having conducted um, masterclass programs, uh, as well as fast track for students that have taken resits as well. The fundamental aspect that I have come to realize is that it is rarely the former. In other words, it's not because the student doesn't know the law or the fact that they don't understand the law. Rather, more often than not, nine out of 10 times, it's because they haven't communicated or presented their arguments and that substantive knowledge properly to an examiner. Now, failure is just another natural form and a part of your academic career. It's part and parcel of it. Having gone through your examination and perhaps not gotten through your examination, there are a number of things that you need to do to take stock so that this failure is not a stalling point, rather it's a stepping off point. Something that you can have a deep sense of learning from and achieve better next time. So how do we do this? Fundamentally, there are two aspects or two things that you need to inculcate and look at at the very outset. The first thing that you need to do is understand why this happened. Think back to your preparation. Think back to the substantive material that you've gone through, as well as the actual examination itself. How was it? Did you feel like you didn't have enough time to complete it? Did you feel as if you didn't communicate the necessary concepts properly? Or, for that matter, you didn't communicate enough? Whichever the reason might be, understand why this happened. More often than not, this will lead to our second requirement or the second step, which is trying to correct the fault. Now, as I mentioned earlier, 9 out of 10 times, students fail or don't get through a law examination because they haven't communicated properly. In other words, it's not about what they said, but how they said it. There are two ways that we can go over this particular hurdle. One is practice, 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 better preparation. There are countless times that I have been approached by students who are going into a reset examination. And when I ask them, how many answer scripts did they prepare for before their first examination? More often than not, the answer is zero. They have not prepared for it. And this is most of the time the issue. Just like any other sport, um, when it comes to an examination, especially law, it's all about preparation, training. After all, the ability to analytically think is also a muscle that you need to train. Now, a further problem that many students face at this juncture is to have an independent and an informed opinion if they're on the right track. Just going through past examination papers and writing answers constantly will not solve the problem if you're going on the same path that you did before. The very notion and the concept of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Now, to overcome this, have a look at some of the playlists and videos that are available on this channel specifically in relation to how to ace a law exam. There are a number of resources available right here that you can go through to understand how exactly an answer script should be presented to an examiner. On top of that, I have another playlist on this very channel known as The First Class, 
where I have interviewed students who have achieved the elusive first class in an LLB and they have provided some insightful tips on how you can prepare better for your examinations. Now if you still feel that you need a more guided approach um, and a way in which you can tackle examination questions and perhaps even understand the fundamental principles of the law properly, make sure you reach out to me through the links in the description below or the email that will appear on screen now. We can develop a specific masterclass that works for you and the style of thinking and presentation that you currently have so that we can optimize it to work better for the next time that you take your examinations. Failure is not something any of us want, but um, as a student, as someone going through their academics, there is an inevitability and a high chance of failure occurring in some form or another. The goal is to not succumb to it, but to learn from it and do better next time. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If it was helpful, make sure you give a thumbs up and do subscribe to The Law Simplified. But until the next time that we meet, have fun, stay safe, and obey the law.